This makes my teeth look so white. I'm so weird. Like, I actually too. What's up, y'all? Jay Seconds here, back with another video. As you can tell from the title, we're gonna be talking about injuries. You feel me? Now, in the background, it's gonna be playing. Well, not the background over there. It's gonna be playing. Um, just a chess work that I did the other day. It was actually a while ago, maybe like two, two weeks ago, somewhere around there. But um, that's not the main focal point of this video. But the full workout will be in the description below if you want to follow. It was a great workout. All my workouts are great. I'm gonna tell you right now. But um, what we're gonna be talking about is injuries. Now, I'm right now. I'm not really injured. The reason I wanted to talk about this is just cause like, um, I don't know. It came to me cause I don't really see that many videos on it. I watch a lot of fitness videos. You guys probably watch a little, a lot of fitness videos too. But nobody really talks about like the injuries and stuff like that. So I was like, um, and plus I kind of got a little tweak in my lower back and a little, um, I don't know what you want to call it. But I'm not really like injured. Injured. It's just. My knees need a little vacation, you feel me? That sounded very sus, hold on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, injuries, right? So, as you guys know, well, if you've been following me for a little while and actually paying attention um, to like my other videos, stuff like that, you know I got into, not even a car accident, some car had hit my brother's car from the back and it kind of like gave me whiplash, you know, like when you hit it, then you spring back. I think that's what they call a whiplash. And um, ever since then, like my lower back has hurt, and I went to acupuncture, um, massages, chiropractor, all that stuff, and it, it got better. But I don't know, I think I did something recently that kind of just tweaked it now. I don't know, it's annoying, but I'll be good. Um, but that's kind of why I wanted to make this video, just for the fact that, you know, I feel like not a lot of people talk about it, it's, and it's a pretty big part of working out, especially if you're like a young person who kind of likes to show off and lift all this heavy weight. Just cause you see like other people on Instagram, YouTube doing it, and yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, get what I'm trying to say. But um, basically, right? I've never really been like injured, injured. I've just had like small little tweaks or something like that in my body. And um, the reason why I would say like I've never been injured, cause you know you can have like a tweak, right? And if I ever get like a tweak, like right now on my back, I'm not working out for this whole week. This today is Monday. I did chest yesterday. I was like, oh. I mean, my, everything is fine on my chest, but still, you know, some movements, like if you bench pressing, excuse me, if you bench pressing, you're gonna arch your back and that could end up messing with your lower back as well. So I'm like, uh, it's not really worth it. So I'm gonna just take the whole week off. You have to realize if you if you worked out for a year, taking a week or two off is not going to completely destroy your gains. And if it does, you'll get it back because you know, muscle memory. If you don't know what muscle memory is, you can Google it. It's basically like in simple terms. Like let's say if you've been working out for two years, trying to bench 315, right? Then you stop working out for like six months and you're starting back up again, you wanna bench 315 again. It's not gonna take you another two years. It'll take you time, but it won't take you the same amount of time due to muscle memory. Like I said, you could Google it if you wanna know more about it. Taking two, taking a week two off is not gonna completely destroy your gains. It'll definitely help your body heal. It'll give the muscles time to relax and just like work on themselves, you feel me? Cause our muscles need a spa day too. Um, I should go to and get a massage, in all honesty. That would be nice. But that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, I would highly suggest if you have any type of, if you feel anything, I'm not talking about like soreness. Soreness, we're gonna get because you're working out. If you switch up your workout, switch up the weights with the reps, switch up the way you do it, you gotta get soreness because you're surprising your body, you're shocking your body, it's not used to it. So you're, you're gonna end up getting sore um, most of the time. Some people, some people's body, I can't even talk. Some people's body is different where they don't get sore like that. But me personally, I get sore and a lot of other people get sore. So I'm not talking about soreness. I'm talking about like, you'll feel the difference between like soreness and like a tweak, like some type of just a little pain, something that doesn't feel right, you feel me? Then there's a complete injury where you like tear your rotate, rotator cuff or something like that. And that's, I never felt that, but I would assume it's like really, really bad. I had a friend that tore his um, shoulder Four years ago, I think that's what it is, and he still can't bench press to this day. He get dumbbell press, but he can't bench press just due to the fact that those type of injuries tend to stay if you do it, if it's like really, really bad. And that's like why I'm saying, take the time off. You feel something wrong, let your body recover. Don't try and, you know, show out. Don't try to lift a whole bunch of heavy weights just because somebody else is doing it. When you know that um, your, let's say your shoulder is, your shoulder was feeling some type of way, but your friend was benching 
315 and you want it to be like your friend. So you was like, oh, let me go with Brush 315. You end up tearing your rotator cuff. Because that, instead of giving your body two weeks of rest, that's going to force you to give your body like six months of rest. And you still won't even feel 100%. Like I was telling you about my friend. He got injured four years ago and he still can feel it and he still prevents him from bench pressing. So you just got to be smart about it in all honesty. You have to know your body. You have to know where your body body's limits are at. You have to know when something does not feel right, when something is off, and then you just take a break. Don't be afraid to take a break. Like I said, you take a week off, you take two weeks off, you're not gonna turn into a small little pebble or get super, super fat. It's not gonna happen overnight. You will you might lose some weight, you might um, lose some muscle, you might you might do all that stuff, but you could gain it back. It's It'll come back. It's only two weeks off. You're not losing everything you work for. Um, but yeah, I don't want to make this video super long. It's at five minutes. So um, yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Don't be afraid to take time off if you feel something's not right to prevent an actual injury. Because like I said, right now, low, uh, tweaking my lower back, it's nothing big, nothing crazy like that. But I just want to give the time off so it doesn't turn into anything bigger or get inflamed or anything like that be smart with your body because this is the only body we got i'm super sensitive about like my knees and my um elbows and stuff like that just because you know like when you get older your bones start to get older and they, they don't work how they used to work you know how like your parents and grandparents say oh i wish i had your young body and stuff like that but that's 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 high key true so like if i feel anything in my knees anything in my elbows i'm gonna give them a break because i do not i want to be able to walk <laughs> when I get 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. I don't want to be in a wheelchair. I don't want to use a uh, cane. I like that. So you have to think long term because you know, hey man, my quote, y'all probably heard me say it before. You probably haven't. In real life, I've said it multiple times. This is real life. I'm talking like to other people. Sometimes you got to take the L in the short term to get the W in the big or in the long term. As you know, two L's put together is definitely a W. You know, it's not like this. It's a W, you feel me? So um, sometimes you gotta take that that two weeks off. So in 20 years, something like that, you can still walk, you feel me? Take that L for two weeks, take the W in 20 years. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna stop talking y'all ear off. Make sure um, y'all leave some comments down below if you have any other things talking about injuries. If you've been through an injury, let me know your story. I wanna hear. I wanna hear. I wanna I wanna learn. Um and yeah, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, because we got bangers coming out. I got all different types of videos. I got the public videos, the workout videos, the monkey videos. Y'all can let me know. If I can do anything, bro. Like, I'm... This YouTube stuff is lit. Like, it's really fun. So, I, I can really do any type of video. But, um, I'm going to stop talking now. Enjoy your night, your morning, your evening, your afternoon, all of the above. I'm going to see y'all out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.